Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're making a custom headliner for the Jeep. A lot of people will go with like the Mopar um, panels that you can put inside the Jeep and they're, they're really expensive, especially if you're trying to ship them to Australia. I think they buy them about 280 to like 350 plus shipping to Australia. So you're most looking about 400 bucks shipped to Australia, which is really expensive. And I didn't want to really spend that much money. So we're trying to do it for under $50. Um, now there's a few different ways you can do that. I've seen a lot of different ways online to do it. Now I've got this idea from uh, Baptist Overland. Now he did a really good idea and actually used cardboard. Um, and he did a second video and his cardboard idea actually failed a little bit. It didn't, um, the cardboard didn't stick well to the uh, cardboard and it started to sag. And so the kind of cardboard he was using was really thin flimsy stuff that had different joins in it. So, you know, the box was already folded. So there was a join running across and he reckons that because it had that join and it was quite thin, it started to sag a little bit. So we've got much thicker cardboard. We don't have ones that have got bends in it. It's one solid piece and it's quite thick as well. So it's a lot more rigid. It's gonna hold up a lot better. And if this idea doesn't work, we've already, we, would, we already have the templates to be able to change it over and use something else. So we'll be using this idea because it's 100% free. And if that doesn't work, we can spend the extra money and go to, I think you use like a backing to like a whiteboard. A lot of people recommended that over cardboard, but I have seen people use cardboard before and it actually does work. Um, you just have to adhere it differently, um, use different products. So what we'll be using today, what we'll be using today is the thicker cardboard. It's all one piece. We've got a lot of it sitting outside there. Um, we can just cut it down as need be. We did grab some thinner cardboard there like Baptist Overland use, but I think that's going to be too thin um, and it's got the bends in it. So this is one giant piece of cardboard. Now we've got this from work for free, so that's sick, zero money spent there and what we'll be doing using is just like a bit of tracing paper you can buy this from any home depot or like arts and crafts store for pretty cheap we've got plenty of that we'll be using and we'll be using that to trace around um, the outline of the freedom panels and the back of the jeep as well so we'll be doing the whole inside of the jeep with this um, a few little utensils we'll be using most people have got this around home we've got masking tape to be able to hold up the paper so we can trace around it as you guys will see later on We've got some scissors to use to cut down the paper and we've got a nice sharpie pen to be able to trace around all the contours um, of the roof onto the paper which is really handy so we've got a dark color um, to use on the paper and we've got a stapler that we'll be using to adhere our our material to the actual cardboard itself and for the material a lot of people end up using um, marine carbon and stuff like that you can kind of use what you want but I want to go for something different. I want to go something that would actually suit the Jeep. So we've gone for a, we've got, this is this is a comforter um, for like a kid's bed. So this has got dinosaurs and stuff on it. This was $19 from Kmart. You can use kind of any material you want. I don't think it really matters. So we want to go with dinosaurs to kind of match the Jeep. Now I don't know if this is actually going to be big enough because I want to be able to fold it over the edge of the cardboard and be able to staple it down with enough um, what do you call it room on the cardboard to be able to staple it so what we also got was well this one actually says a uh, dino jungle cover and it's supposed to look like that but it's actually like a camping set so it's got crocodiles flags bicycles uh tents and stuff so if that doesn't uh, make enough we'll be using that one for the two freedom panels and maybe the center part and for the very back part of over the like the cargo area we might use this if it's not enough if not we can just return this this was 12 dollars from kmart that was $19 from Kmart. So in all in all, we're in probably 30 bucks all in. Um, now, if you guys don't have access, because well, I got this cardboard and stuff from work, uh, it was free, we're about to throw it out, so it didn't really matter. A lot of companies do free cardboard out, so go around different, um, like industrial areas around your area. Uh, just go into a few companies and they would have heaps of cardboard and stuff that they can just give you instead of them throwing it away, it doesn't cost them anything. Um, so instead of buying cardboard, materials head up a few places around your area and see if you can get the stuff free so we've got all this laid out really simple stuff oh the other thing we've got is a nice sharp stanley knife uh with a fresh blade in it that we'll be using to cut the cardboard because it is quite thick uh cardboard so really simple stuff that you can find anywhere around your house so let's get started and see how it looks 
forgot to mention before that we'll be using 3M tape to adhere the um, cardboard or the roof lining to the actual thread and panel itself. These run about anywhere from $15 to $20 this is the actual 3M stuff. Uh, scotch tape, so it's double backing, really strong. I think it can hold up to like six or seven kilos, which is more than enough um, to adhere from the cardboard to the roof. So really cheap, you can buy this from Bunnings or any other hardware store. Just here, uh, you can feel over you press the actual paper down, and then it actually contours from one lip that actually comes further out, and it kind of just drops in a little bit there. As you can see on the plastic, now the tape holds it well enough that you can just push it up, and create a nice firm line the whole way around, which is pretty useful. Um, and then we've gone all the way over past like little roll cage, and we'll be contouring it all around there. So when it's done. Have a nice coverage of the new headliner. So far, so good. Now I probably could pull this a little bit tighter and maybe do some staples through here, which uh, will bind it a bit better. I'll probably do like a run of staples uh, through here just so it doesn't sag. It is pulling a little bit, so I'll just do a run of staples through there and pull a little bit tighter on the back side. But that looks sick. Stand up and push. Stand up and push. Push. Push.
like it? Yes. I got more. More? Yeah. More? Yeah. A couple of little spots probably could be touched up a bit. Just because it's really thin material, it's pulled a little bit. So if you want it perfect, um, I could have glued it, which could have made it a little bit better. We could have glued it, eh, to make it a bit better. But the fronts look absolutely sick. A little bit stretched in some parts, um, but it's fine. We can deal with that. Um, how I did this was I kind of slid it over the back roll bar then pushed it behind the speakers as well. So everything looks good. Uh, I left the back of the speaker side completely flat. I didn't contour it to like the, like that, to the shape of the actual hard top. One, you will never see it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so that's just less work we've got to do. That looks absolutely sick. Um, so I did the 3M tape in a few different spots along there, center, and along there. Um, one, two, three, and four there that way I can push it up in different spots i only did small strips so if one fails it's going to catch the other one they shouldn't fail that 3m stuff is pretty strong maybe in the heat it might have a few issues but we can always pull it down either use more tape or uh use like a hardener or a glue to actually attach it to the hard top itself but for the most part it looks sick so we've actually run out of material so we'll use the other material we've got and do the back half but this looks do you like it? Looks good. Do you like the dinosaurs? Nah. Yeah. Good boy. Alright, let's get on to the back side. Alright guys, so it's been about a week. So it is Saturday and we did last Friday, Saturday and Sunday to do the um, new headliner on the Jeep. Now I've left it about a week because it's about three or four days when Baptist Overland started having issues with his one sagging um, with his cardboard that he used. So I thought I'd give it a week and give you guys a true review of how I'm finding it, any things I'd do differently, stuff like that. Uh, with his one, as I said at the start of the video, he didn't use a very thick cardboard, it's quite a uh, thin, flimsy cardboard that had joints in it, um, and that's why I went with a much thicker, solid piece of cardboard that didn't have any joints or anything like that. I think that's made a massive difference. So it's been just over a week, and we love it. It looks great, it's held up really well. I thought I might have some issues on really hot days at work, because the car sits outside, in the heat and it's got a black roof and I thought maybe the 3M tape might fail. Uh, so far so good. The only issue that I'm having is in some of the areas on the actual soft top because it's not glued down or anything like that it's kind of sagging just a little bit. It's not actually the cardboard itself it's the uh, material sagging from the um, like behind. So I might just go along and put a few more staples through there. Um, if I really want to I can take it all off pull the staples out glue the bottom side of it re-staple it then put it back up that's also an option as well that way it's going to hold up a lot better the only thing I was a bit worried about because it's so thin is I don't want the glue to seat through and you'd be able to see it um, on the well the front side of the actual uh, dinosaurs so I might do might do a few tests on some scrap piece of material I've got to see if it actually leaks through or not and if it doesn't I can just pull it off glue it um, but in the meantime I might just put a few more staples in there just to hold it it's not an issue you don't actually notice it until you touch it and you see that it's just drooping just a little bit um, other than that it's held, holding up really well we did run it out of material um, and I was going to use that other material we had with like the campers and the camping stuff on it as well but I want it to flow so we're going to return that to Kmart um, and just buy the dinosaur ones as well so we, we haven't done the very back um, but it's the same process as the rest of it. We just want to use the same material as we did on the front panels and this middle panel as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, anything I'll do different next time is I might glue it as I just said. Um, other than that, I think it looks great. Hasn't failed so far, so maybe time will tell. But if we do need to, we can use the templates we've made from these, from the cardboard and use it on a different material if need be. I don't think so. Um, I think these are gonna last quite well. I might need to get some more 3M tape um, and uh, tape this uh, middle one off where we're running out of tape um, and I think it's pulling down in one area So I might just have to use more tape. The front ones are working absolutely perfectly uh, We do have the front panels off at the moment because we've just been out driving in the sun which is perfect for in the Jeep um, But wouldn't really change a thing. I think it looks great. It's really cheap, really 
straightforward to make. Anyone can do it at home and that's why I love doing. I hate things that people spend a couple hundred bucks on and it's not really relatable to a lot of people. I don't have a lot of money. You guys might have a lot of money. A lot of people don't. Um, so I like things to make relatable to me that I can actually afford rather than just buying a whole lot of dumb shit that doesn't relate to anyone else. And I find it more satisfying that I'm not spending a lot of money. I'm just using my own time um, and just making out of what we've got around. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video um, and you like this install, smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. And I really love it if you guys make a comment. It might be about this install we've just done. It might be about anything. It might be about videos you guys want to see in the future. But drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, thank you guys. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.